Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Thursday, June 8th. What's going on today? Yes, June 8th. It's, it's still, I don't know if it's cloudy out or hazy. I'm not sure. But you really don't see the smoke unless it's cloudy. I'm not sure what it is, but you don't smell it. Not like we did. Okay, June 8th. We have a couple birthdays that I can see on here. One birthday. It is Billy's Crafting Lounge. It is his birthday. So if you see Billy, wish him a happy birthday. Okay, yesterday, I had to close all the windows in the house and turn the air on because they, it's what they were recommending for us to do because of the um, smoke. Yeah, it was bad. Not as bad as New York City, but it was still bad. I finished my book. It's one of those you want to pick up and reread. Ah! Five stars! Holy shit! The, mm, intense. There were some fighting scenes in here towards the end. We're so freaking intense. I, 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 oh. And someone dies at the end. I was very sad. Very sad. Um, I'm afraid of giving spoilers. If you like fantasy, this was amazing. The second book comes out in November. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Now I want to go pick up all my fantasy books again because I was in the fantasy phase when I first found BookTube several years ago. I think like 2015. Yeah. And I watched, I read Throne of Glass, but I didn't read the next series or the rest of the series. And now I need to pick up Throne of Glass again and then read the rest of the series. Yeah, and yes, there is some sex in here, and it's a little steamy, but oh my God, you guys, and it's not hard to understand it. Some fantasy, there's so many characters, um, there are a lot of characters in this, but they don't have really weird names, like some of the fantasy there's like three or four names. They sound the same or look the same written. And I would get confused. So that is not like that at all. So, yes. Finish that. Oh, my God. It is so good. Now I want to go find the rest of her books. And I am keeping that on my shelf. So, yeah. Finished. Fourth Wing, Rebecca Yaros, actually I spelled Rebecca wrong, it's got one B, not two. I, I just, I can't even talk about it enough because it's just, <sighs> yeah. I had my crafty Zoom yesterday. I was in a stitching Zoom yesterday, last night. But I finished the book right, right before uh, my Zoom. Because that was my goal, was to finish it. Um, no TV. There's it. 
I I finished page seven on my lawn dog, which was my goal. So the other day I finished page six and then I started page seven and I finished page seven seven. So I'll show you that. God. I got pictures I need to get caught up on that I forgot to do over the weekend. This morning, I want to watch the past three days General Hospital. So I'm hoping to do that. Um, hmm. Yeah, so let's get on to today. Today's the weather. It is going to be a high of 62 and a low of 47. And um, let's see what it says for today. We still have an air quality alert. Um, let's see. Air quality alert in effect until midnight tonight. The air quality levels in outdoor air are predicted to be greater than an air quality index value of 150 for fine partic particulates. Um, yeah, I guess they like, don't like it over 100. And yesterday it was so bad that they were thinking about sending the kids home from school. But they didn't. Um, so... I forgot to read it. Cloudy with a few showers. Areas of smoke and haze are possible. Reducing visibility at times. Winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Humidity 65%. Sunset is at 8.49 p.m. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We still have smoke. and air quality so let's do cloud Need my glasses cloud and there's the raindrop Okay. Mm. I have an appointment at one o'clock for a haircut and my eyebrows to get done. Yep. And then at 8.45 tonight, I have a Zoom for Big Book Energy Hello. I'm hoping she doesn't change the time again like Last month, last month she kept changing the time, and by the time she was going to be on, it was going to be 10 o'clock to 11, and I have I have to get up tomorrow morning, so, yeah, I'm hoping that this time she doesn't keep changing the time during the day. Let's see. National Day today. Let's 
National Best Friends Day. I have a few. Today's a wisdom quote. No pressure, no diamonds by Thomas Carlyle. In the word of the day, word, word, word of the day, word, 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 word of the day. Today's weather, today's word is weather vane. It is a noun, a device having a pointer rotating on a vertical spindle used to indicate the direction of the wind or to someone or something constantly changing. And the other word of the day is Zetetic. Zetetic is an adjective meaning proceeding by inquiry. And today's horoscope for Aries. It's like you have to do everything at the same time right now. What you really need is an extra pair of hands and some additional hours in the day. It's your nerves that may pay the price for this fast-paced existence. You can't go on like this. Rather than give up on your goals, why not give yourself more time to reach them? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Now my crafty planner. Crafty planner. Hmm. I need to pull out what I'm cross-stitching on today. The Sunday I used my wheel app. and we are going to be stitching on Boo Crew. Boo Crew, I gotta go find Boo Crew. Wait till you see. So Deborah stopped here yesterday because she had stuff to drop off to me. She doesn't have a printer, so I printed some things up for her. Okay, I got 28 count Monaco. I need some of that. She got me this big piece of 25. No, this is 28 count gridded. 28 count. I get to try a piece of 28 count, and it's a big piece. So. I'm looking to see what my biggest hate is or whatever full coverage because I do others. I do pain free and there's a few others. So um, I need to do that. What else? Oh, she got me. She didn't get me. She didn't buy them for me. It was things that she got and doesn't use. Size 28 easy guide ball tip needles and do, 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 a whole bunch of perforated paper this perforated paper has stars can you see that I have never seen perforated paper and there's two sheets in each one I have never seen it with designs on it printed on it this one looks like floral designs another one with the floral design 
Yeah, I've never seen it with designs printed on it. And then some plain ones, white, plain white ones. So, yeah, they will get used, especially things that don't have any back stitching or quarter stitches. I can do on these. They're easier to frame. So that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be looking. I think that'll be a good idea. I should go through my Stony Creek and just cross stitch magazines because. I still have openings for this year on um, new starts. And we added another new thing for New Year's Eve day. We are going to start something new every hour. But Deanne said because of the way we did it last year for New Year's Eve day, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our fabric and everything is all ready and we put in a couple of stitches during the month of December, just a few, so that we know where we're starting. So we can just pick it up and stitch for an hour and not have to worry about that. So that is our goal. Now let's see if I can find my Boo Crew. It's the pumpkin patch. Boo crew. Is that it? No. I wonder if it's still in the drawer. It might still be in my drawer. Let me look. Let me look. Do, do, do. Hmm. Is it in here? No, maybe. Might be in here. Yep. Okay. Okay, I found a boo crew. So first I will show you. my lawn dog. So that's how much I have done already. There's 20 pages. I finished seven. So yeah, page six and page seven. So I finished page six last week and then started page seven and finished page seven. So I get to start on page eight next month. This was my Wicko, one of my Wicko pieces this month. And then um, I was gonna start my second one tomorrow or today and I liked Deanne's idea of, you know, if the first doesn't fall on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday, just put stitch on something else so you get a whole five days of your whip. So that's why I am going to stitch on today and tomorrow my Boo Crew. Boo Crew. Nice. I think I can, I'm not sure if I can finish it this time around because I, I couldn't remember how much I had done. Oh, yeah, I think so. It looks like it. Um, yeah, because this boo. So I need, oh, maybe not. I need to finish the W and then there's a broom, a cat. Is that a bit? A cat. And a candlestick on the end of the W. So I don't know if I'll get it done tomorrow, but it'll be close to being done. So, yeah. Boo crew. Is 
that's what I will be working on today. I don't know how much today. Um, this morning I'll be stitching because I want to watch three episodes of General Hospital. So I do need to find... Boo Crew. Let's find the Boo Crew projects. I'm still looking. I don't know. Hmm. Is it already in here? Yep. Yeah, because Chessie's on the back of it. Why I did it that way, I don't know. But yeah, Boo Crew's already in here. And I haven't worked on it since it looks like February. So I only worked on it one, two, three, five days. So maybe I can get that done in two days. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. So, yeah. I have this 28 count Monaco, 20 by 24. So, I do have a list of things in what size fabric I need. So, I'm trying to figure out what I need that for. Um, it's too small for my Fab 50. Um, so I need to look up what size I would need for Shooting Star by Carolyn Manning. So I may be able to use it for that. And I still have I still have another piece of monocle here that's smaller. This is a 15 by 18. And I have the 28 count. I also have this piece of 14 count fabric. So I'm just looking through what I need for this year and what I can use it for. So yeah, so here's four pieces of fabric for something. Wait a minute. One of them is for the owl forest. The one for, I think it's this one, the turtle quaker. That's the one I'm using this for, is this pattern that we are starting this weekend. So, because I need a piece of 17 by 21, and this is 20 by 24, so it's perfect. So I better just take it out and put it with the pattern. Yeah. So put 
it there. And then I still have these three pieces. I, I wanted to start Polaroid Princesses on Saturday, but it says my fabric's not going to be here until Monday. So I'm probably going to move that to the 17th and then work on, where it is? I know there was another Halloween. I think it was 2020. Yeah. So I can start one of these. Halloween 2020. I got two pieces in here. So I don't know what this piece is. I actually got a couple. So there is that. And I don't know what I was going to do with this. Am I actually going to be able to do that? Must be. Must be. Okay. Then they have a piece of this for whatever. I can find. Um, yeah. Whatever one I want to start with first. So I have all kinds of fabric in here. I have fabric in here. I don't even know what it's for. Hmm. And I have to go through this bag again. But, yep. Yeah. I can always shuffle things around if I have to. That is it for today. I am, I did start a new book. It's Kate Stewart. Now, I love Kate Stewart's books I've read so far. I probably will finish it. It's a three, it's a tr trilogy. And it's called Sexual Awakenings by Kate Stewart. Sexual Awakenings. It's an erotic romance by Kate Stewart. Okay. I don't know if I like this. It says, Doms don't have to say, I love you. I'm not into all the Dom stuff. And there's a sex club. And I don't like those either. They're not trigger warnings. They're just not my jam to read. But... I'm going to read it because it's Kate Stewart. I want to read all of her books. Um, yeah. A little bit of dominance. I don't mind a little bit of dominance, but I, I don't know if I like this. I don't, don't know. We'll see. I am a little picky about my smutty books. <laughs> yeah. So... Otherwise, I am ready for this month with my reading. I have a list of books. I have my wheel app set up. So um, this weekend is the Shadow Lounge Readathon Marathon on Facebook. So I will. I started this because I want to read all three Kate Stewart's books and one of Katharina Mora's books for the weekend. So I'm starting today. Um, cause I know I wouldn't be reading all day cause this morning I do want to watch TV and stitch. I get the hiccups. Um, yeah, so I need to find what I'm going to do with this fabric and kick things up. So I do know that this 28 count is 18 and a half by 28. So that I know. I had to leave it out. Love, Deborah. Deborah is a smoker, so this was really heavy of smoke. I left it out all night. It doesn't smell anymore. Now I've got this piece laying out. 
Nothing against Deborah. I greatly appreciate the fabric. I don't smoke. I notice it more than other people. And I there's no smoking in my house. So um, you just air it out. Just air it out. Not a big deal. I'm just trying to figure out what... One of my big ones is, because again, it's not 25 count, it's 28. So I can actually use it for one of my bigger patterns, which I don't know what, what's my next? I know I'm doing um, a Hayd Quick Stitch Brown Tailed Sunshine, but I only need a small piece for that. My Hayd Ornament, that's a small piece. The Hayd Halloween Hannah, I might use it for that. It's it's a little bit big for my chromatic dragon. Or I may use it for finishing touch. I don't know. It depends on if I can get to Hobby House. So I need three pieces of fabric from Hobby House. So, yeah. Let me, so that's all I need to buy for this month. I need to buy a small piece for the Quick Stitch Brown Tailed Sunshine and three pieces next month, for next month. And then I can start, um, yeah, so I should buy four pieces from Hobby House. And that'll be for the end of this month and all of July. And then I have all my fabric ready for July. And then I can start buying for August. Yeah. So we'll see what I can do with these three pieces. Okay, you guys, I am going to go. I need to do dishes too, but I, don't, I have no energy I'm zapped of energy. Um, yeah. So while I'm sitting here with this upload, and I'm going to figure out at least what this piece is going to go to. Yeah. Okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye-bye.